What is up guys? So it is Friday. It's my last Friday of work. I work until next Thursday now. So only four more days after today, but it's Hawaiian shirt day and I don't have a Hawaiian shirt. So this is what I went with. Go with a nice little white shirt, wore shorts. I don't know if I'm allowed to wear shorts, but at this point, I guess, you know, we'll find out. I don't think they're going to care, especially because it's a Hawaiian shirt day. So it's more casual, but my girlfriend is coming here this weekend. So I'm trying to convince her to do a Q and A. So I may post something on Snapchat, Instagram, or maybe even both, you know, to try to get some questions, to try to get her in. She's a little camera shy, so we'll see how that goes. But after work, I'm gonna hit a workout, and then my girlfriend's gonna get here. All right guys, so home from work right now, my last Friday at work, waiting for my girlfriend. She's stuck in Philly traffic right now, and if you know Philly traffic, it can be the worst. So she could be another hour or even two. I'm gonna go to the gym right now, show you guys a little progress update. I'm gonna do a back workout, show you where my weight is, you know, where my training is, what the future is gonna be. And then when she gets here, we're gonna go out to eat tonight. It's my cheat meal, which I've been waiting for all week. I need this at least once a week. I'm probably gonna move to two eventually. But you know, I'll show you guys what we're doing tonight and then tomorrow we're getting into this Q&A. So currently I am sitting around 200 in the morning, trying to get into the 190s right now. Macros are about, like I said before, 2,700-ish calories, 325 carbs. And I've just noticed, you know, over the last couple years, last year I did my cut, and it's such a difference. Even if I wasn't doing much cardio when I was in college, I was always moving around, always walking. And when you have a desk job, it just makes it, you know, you're just not expending any calories, especially you're driving to work, from work. If you have a long drive, you're not doing anything. You're sitting in your car the whole time. So just make sure if you have a desk job, your macros are probably going to be lower. I just haven't really put the time into cardio because of so much with, you know, the business. There's just so much going on that I don't have that much time to do cardio. And I don't like saying I don't have time, but I could maybe do it at lunchtime at work. But you know, it is my last week coming up, so I'm definitely going to start doing more cardio. I want to move around a lot more, and I think that'll allow me to eat more calories throughout the day. But I'm happy with where I'm at in the cut right now. This was the plan from the beginning, get to between 200 and 205, but I want to go past that, like I said before. I want to get to a very lean level, hopefully the what one low 190s, and from there we'll see, um, you know, It'll probably take me another six, seven weeks to get there. I want to do it slow, so that's going to be the plan. But here I did some rack pulls today. I never do these. I just wanted to give them a try. And the nice thing about recording is that you can see your form and you can see the contraction if they actually work. And I've noticed that they actually do work, so I'm going to keep doing them. And then just finish off this back workout with some lat pulls. So girlfriend's about to get here, and then the weekend fun is going to start. She is. She finally made it after five hours. <laughs> Four hours to get here. Four hours. Man, I really need a haircut. She gives me crap about it all the time and just, that's probably what she makes fun of me the most for, my hair. But I really do need this cut. I went last night, tried to go. Line was too long, so I'm gonna have to go early next week. But we're going out to eat now. We're going to a place in my town called Babes. It is the best food around. It's priced at a premium. It's like 15 bucks for a burger. It's ridiculous, but that's because no one can really compete with them. So all fresh food, they source from like different vendors and stuff. I'll show you guys what we're eating and then we might stop at Trogues again. Burgers, I think. I may have to go wings. They like smoke them first for hours and then So I did it. I finally got a haircut. Much needed. My girlfriend convinced me to go this morning. She is skimming the pool right now. So nice of her. And then once she's done, we're going to get into this Q&A. Alright, so I finally got her to do this. Took some convincing, but Q&A is coming your way right now. So, how did we first meet? Back in college, 
what was it? My sophomore. Your mutual friend. Mutual friend, yeah. And she saw me lifting at the no, field house didn't. when. No, I didn't. But I remember she started liking my Instagram pictures. I started liking hers, and then from there it was just. First date was to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> um, what is love? John Hicks. Don't think that in depth. What do you think the other's greatest characteristic is? I would say she's just a genuine person. We're just, we're two very similar people, really nice people. Um, and I think that's just the, I don't know, what attracted you to each other. What do you think? Your greatest characteristic? Yeah. Your positivity. I am a positive person. <laughs> You're very positive. Lately, dieting, I, I can get cranky, but no. usually pretty. Ooh, let's do this one. Which one? How's a long distance going to work moving to Texas? What do you think? <laughs> No, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll be all it's right. It's going to be hard, but... It's not, it's not like I'm going to go out and, you know, party and stuff, and I'm going to be focused, and she's going to be at grad yeah. school, so... No partying there. <laughs> we wouldn't see each other much anyway. Let's um, go, Finns. My dad's could, a huge Miami fan. Yeah, she's, they're from <laughs> Miami, her family. And if you could pick one thing to change about each other, what would it be? I would say nothing. Except, I wish she would work. She works on weekends, and that's oh, when yeah. I had off. So I had the 9 to 5. She did the weekend thing. I but wish she weren't moving to Texas, but... <laughs> yeah. I have to, though. I know. She'll come down eventually. Um, Does your girlfriend have a passion for fitness like me? No. I wouldn't say as strong as you. Yeah, but you're more of, like, athletics and stuff. Like, yeah. you're a college athlete. Yeah, but I'm more into fitness serious. than sports and stuff. Like, she was more into college sports than fitness. Yeah. Um, is it possible for me to stay shredded <laughs> whilst eating fast food twice a day? This is from my roommate, Alex. Alex, you can still do this, but you got to eat clean when you go to fast food. I see what you eat. He eats, like, everything fried on the menu. That's not going to work. That's kind of going to give you that skinny fat look. So maybe try <laughs> to eat a little bit leaner and go to the weight room a little bit more, and that should help. How long after your move will she come to follow? <laughs> I don't know. She has grad school for two years, so we'll see how it goes. She she hasn't been to Texas yet, and you got to come visit. And I think she's gonna love it there. Love going into the Austin area. I think. Uh, actually, what I didn't bring up yet is my best friend from college is down here. Then one of my best friends from my hometown is moving down the same time that I'm moving down. So a lot of people are going down there right now. I think she would like it too. So. I have to visit first. Yeah, she's got to visit. I'm in your town for one day, hypothetical. What local beer or wine is a must try? Trogues. Trogues Brewery. <laughs> yeah, this is literally like the coolest brewery I've been in. And I'm not saying their beer, their beer is really good, but just the atmosphere is the greatest. And then as far as going to a restaurant around me, we went to Babe's last night. Yeah, it's good. Which is like the best fresh food you can find. It's so good. The You know, the owner comes out to every table, talks about where he sources it from, you know, everything about that and he was even thanking us last night and my brother put it on his youtube channel before and it's just a really quality place so babes if you're in the hershey area what sort of pressure are you feeling at the moment as the business starts to kick into full swing and your brother's still away well you know he's not going to be he's in the field for another 40-ish days or so i think i have a good background with business and what i did because i did a lot of the similar stuff that's going to translate into what we're doing now so like pricing sourcing things like that and it's really going to pick up when he gets back. So right now, there's not too much pressure, I don't think. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. As you are into fitness, was it weird for her at the start of the re relationship? Or was it she very open-minded about? So were you No, we, we went to the gym together. Yeah, we, stuff. we, we started did. going to the gym together. Yeah. I was pushing her in the beginning. But it was like during like softball and baseball season. Yeah. So we were both like working out and stuff. But I was training her pretty. I pushed no, her the first not. week. Now like when I make our program, like I don't, I don't know. No. We can't take each other serious now for no. the gym. Together, in the beginning so. we did, but not anymore. Yeah, so we pretty <laughs> no, much do our, cool, do our own thing in the gym now. Um, How supportive is she of your company, gym, and YouTube channel? You're, I think I am. Yeah, you're really supportive. I just like to make, I like to bust your chops sometimes. She makes fun of me, yeah. <laughs> She, I don't think she no, likes think when I take cool. the camera a lot of places. She never complains, though. That's what I like. And like it I, took a lot for me to do this today. Yeah. So. And uh, I think it's going so well so far. But No, it's cool. It's I really like. Cool. I think I feel better when I'm filming with her. I don't know. So I have a, have a different dynamic. So And there's a lot of different content. So I think it's always good to film with her, and especially if I'm going to Jersey. Uh, Jersey's the best. Jersey, I've warmed up you to Jersey. Jersey. I used to talk, you know, not down on it, but I didn't know about Jersey. And then, and I live right next to it. 
and then I started dating her, and I actually love it. I love going to the beach. There's great things there, so. That is it, guys. That's gonna wrap it up, and that is gonna be the Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we're gonna start filming again tomorrow.